In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a downloadable link for a freebie you may be offering that you can refer people to to download the freebie. Okay, so if you are in Canva, I'm just going to do a very basic run through of how to create this. We are going to scroll down. I really like using the Wattpad book cover, so let's go ahead and click on this. Now they have quite a few different layouts for you to look through. Just kind of scroll and see one that jumps out at you. This is one I was playing with a little bit earlier. So we are going to edit this specifically. Okay, now that it's here, I'm going to type in something at the top. So I have don't be a blank space in an online world. That's just a tagline I use a lot in my own web design business. Now the red doesn't show very well for me, so I'm going to change this to white. On here, let's call this blogging challenge. You can type whatever you desire there. I am going to actually eliminate this, so I'm just going to delete it out. Right here, I'm going to change this to say something along the lines of, let's see if I could get it to click. There we go. Since it's being fussy, we'll just do it this way. I'll put never run out of blog post log post ideas again. Down here, I'll just change this to my own name. Carla Rumsey, new online you. Now let's change this background photo. So I will go to my uploads. As you can see, I do a lot of blogging about travels and food, fitness. This is what I'm looking for specifically. Actually, that's not the one I want to use. Let me look. There it is. I'm going to drag this over, and there the photo took, so it swapped it out. Now this isn't really showing up very well. Let's see if I could change this to maybe black. And let's change the font to something a little more heavy. There we go. And that's still not totally shown awesome. But you can play with this. You can add maybe a little background or something to it. This is just giving you a basic idea. So you are going to want to add another page. Go ahead and click on Add New. And you go up here to the left, back to Layouts. And let's find another piece to add to this for the second page. You can just kind of scroll through and see if anything stands out to you. Let's see if I find something. Sometimes you kind of have to look through. I found one earlier, but I'm not seeing it for some reason. We'll just use this. I'll change this to say, sometimes it doesn't want to click. It will do this, do it the old school way. Day one, I want to increase that size. Let's try 16. We'll change this to find your Niche. And I can make that text a little smaller. Let's go 56 maybe. We can even play with the font and see if you want to try something different. See if that looks any better. Let's space it out a little bit. Play with the letter spacing. 
I think I like that much better. I'm going to change this because I know I will be swapping this out, so I'm going to make this black. Let's change the font color to black. I didn't grab that one. Let's change day one to black. And then this, I'm just going to add some dummy text right now. We'll come over here. I love using this site for adding dummy text. I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to change this to black. And then I'm just going to take this out. So we'll delete it. Let's take this background. We're going to take out, delete the element. And delete that. Now it's all white. So it's just kind of a page that they can read. So let's look at our ebook right now. So far, this is what we have. Here's the front page. Here's the second page, and I can get into more detail. If you wanted to add another page, you can add a new page with a different design, or you can go ahead and click on here and copy this page. And then you could do the same thing. You could scroll down and put day two, put something about, you know, research or research your niche. Or you could just say, I don't know, that research won't fit, but you could just dive deep. Or, nope, dive deep into your niche. Dive deep into your niche. Whatever the case is, but this will create a whole nother page and you can continue on throughout your ebook. So once you are done with that and you are satisfied with your ebook, go ahead up at the top and click download. And you will want to see, it gives you the op options obviously as JPEG, PNG, which is normally what I say when I'm doing graphic design. But this time you're going to want to do a PDF and we're just gonna click a standard one. I want it to save all the pages and then I click download now. So it is going ahead and it's downloading it to my laptop. Okay, so it said my download is now ready. You can see it in the corner. Now we are going to add this to our dashboard in WordPress. So I've already logged into my site. I am going to go straight to media. A lot of people think you're going to create a post, but you're just going to go to your media library and add new. Select your file. And right here, here's the PDF I just downloaded. So I will go ahead and click on that. It's uploading. It's crunching it. Now let's go into edit. And we are going to pull the URL address for this. So see, it created a URL specifically for this document. So you're just going to copy this. And this is the URL address that you are going to use when you create that automatic email follow up. If someone, let's say you create a Facebook ad and you have it linked directly to an opt-in form that they can fill out. Now your opt-in form can be created in your WordPress site. You can use their specific companies that have special forms that they have pre-created landing pages. I mean, it depends. However you do your landing page and you have an opt-in form, once they sign up, they fill out the form, your email responder will go ahead and send an automatic email that you have created. And in there, the link that you are going to be using, let's say you place the text, 
in the auto email saying something like download here. This is the specific link that you are going to use to send them here to get this downloadable freebie. So if we copy and paste it, we can view our PDF. So once they click the link from the email you have created, this is where they will be taken. And as you see, it comes up just as a beautiful little ebook. At the top, they'll have the option to print it or they could download it. And if they download it, they could choose where they want to save it and so forth. And there is your freebie. Now you have given them something that is of value and you can continue to use it to grow your list and market your business.